Hey, how you doing? It's me again with the Ultima. Oh, just waiting on some parts. Decided to rip the interior out and go bloody red. As you can see, the Ultima sitting there a little dusty. Waiting on a brand new clutch, time and chain, water pump. Let me change everything while I'm ripping the engine out. But this video is mainly about painting your seats instead of dyeing them painting them with this vinyl paint it works pretty great it's a few things you got to know though one you have to clean the seats real good as you can see I didn't do these seats yet that's what I'm doing now one thing is you got to clean the seats real good scuff them up uh, with light grit sandpaper or sanding block which I'm using fine grit here and uh, scuff it all up real good then use some acetone take all the wax and grease and all the dirt out your seats so the paint can stick great I know it might sound crazy paint but this vi vinyl and fabric specialty coating flexible finishes for ideal Oh, flexible finish ideal for dashboards door panels seats and carpet i tell you one thing this shit works all right but the trick the trick in painting this is a lot of people online i checked them out on youtube they've done it that's what uh i wanted to get it done so for about a hundred bucks you could change your interior color yourself but the main thing you have to do is when you paint it dust them on dust the paint on real light okay after you dust the paint light get the seat wet put a nice wet coat let it dry let it sit for a good half an hour or so after that after you get full coverage on the seat you're gonna see it might look different in different areas like this might be glossy and this might look flat, it might look dry. But the trick is, instead of spraying it and overlapping it back and forth, like you're painting a car doing a wheel, what you want to do is, instead of standing this close, you want to stay real far away. Stay real far away and dust the paint on. That's going to be your final coat. You're going to stay real far away, maybe two feet away, just dust it on. Let the paint barely get on the seat. You don't want to do a wet coat on top of the wet coat. Let it dry. Dust it on very far. Don't stay close with the can or you're going to get a bad product. It's going to look bad and you're going to be like, fuck, I should have paid somebody to do this, this, that, and the third. And um, the trick is to spray far away and just dust on your final coat. And you'll get complete coverage and everything will look the same. Okay. This is the 08 seat. This is the back seat. Alright. So you tell me what you think.
really good. I've been painting wheels, cars, a lot of things all my life. I'm telling you, this shit works. You're just gonna have to prep it. Make sure all the products you buy are the same name, just because the materials and the chemicals they use, so they won't re uh, react to each other. But this shit is great. This stuff works, all right? I'll give you the update. All right, it's the 08 Ultima going from tan seats to red, all right? After you clean it with the acetone, tack rag, man, look. Tack rag. Get all the little fibers out. Get it right. Tack rag it. Light coat, wet coat. Let it dry. And then your final coat is going to be a dust coat. All right, this is my wet coat. This is my dust coat first coat letting it dry then I'm gonna go wet all right but your final coat must be dust dust the whole seat because if you just overlap the paint back and forth strokes like if you're painting a car or a wheel it's not gonna come out how you want it you have to dust it from far all right just giving you an update Use the tack rag at the end, please. All right, right before you spray, tack rag it. Get everything off of it. Do it good. All right. Say you're gonna spend about $60 on this paint. Maybe 100 if you wanna do it right, the good way, bunch of coats. And $100, a few hours out your day, say your day off. You got brand new interior, man. Different color, different look, whole different swag. And just like that, bloody shoes. Oh, check it out, man. You want me to go close? I'm telling you, this shit works, man. I see a, now a lot of guys on YouTube doing it. I'm a hands-on guy. I deal with paint a lot. Painted wheels for years and cars, and um, surprised. I'm actually surprised. This is not a finished coat, as you can see. I still got to put a little more in these cracks, but this is about the second coat. It's not even wet yet. These two are done. Back seats are done. It looks great, bro. I'm telling you, the front seats are just head up now. One coat, one full coat. It's the back pieces for the seat here. They're probably gonna go black. I just sprayed it red just for now to see how they look. I'm gonna spray them black eventually, I think, or gray. I'm gonna stay true to the gray uh, interior. I don't wanna paint everything black if it's gray. Damn near close to black already. But this is finished product, man. Just sat overnight. Did the back seat bottom back seat overnight and this sat overnight is cured beautiful beautiful and works man works it works Might do, do this to the old school next. No, no. <laughs> it works, man. It works. Believe the hype. This is what I'm telling you. Believe the hype. It works. It works. Should I say it again? It works. Dupla color, vinyl, fabric. Paint for seats, dashboards. It works. It works. I spent about 80 bucks, did my whole interior. Well, the seats alone. Um, gonna put one more coat. Got one more can left. Hit them up one more time. I don't wanna go back in here till a few years from now. I really wish I had another fucking can though. So I could really, really hit it. 
But I'm gonna go for it right now because it's, it's hot. It's about 70 something degrees in January right now in Texas, so I love it. I'm from New York. I love this shit. I still got a hoodie on just because, but yeah, that's how it's looking. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. Like I said, the main part, the last coat has to be far away and you'll get the same uh, product, the same lay down on the whole seat. It won't look different. Uh, if you stay close and overlap, like you're spraying the car or some wheels, it will look different. Last coat has to be far and dusted on. I just want to finish up this video real quick. I'm not done with the interior. Just did the seats today. Used about five cans. Still have to do the door panels. As you can see, my interior was tan. So everything's tan. This that's tan is going red. Carpet's going black. And the red seats, man. It just looks great already. You know? Everything's not even in yet, but just showing you the before and after and the process. It works great. Like I said, everything that's tan is gonna go red. I don't know about the roof. I don't know what I should do up there. Probably gonna do it red too. Fuck it, let's go all out. Bloody shoes, man, all red. But the red is just crazy. And I got the M37 wheels, the 20s. I'm gonna powder coat them in red, throw them on here, match the interior. It's gonna look sick, man. Y'all see the end result in a few weeks. Um, the columns all ripped out because I'm going six speed. So I was just checking a bunch of stuff out, waiting for the clutch, waiting for the timing chain right now. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know, this is how it looks. Now I'm going to have to do the door panels next. So stay tuned for the next video. A few more videos you see. It's going to be about what you got to do to swap a, to swap a CVT to a six-speed. Which I know what I have to do already, but it's a lot of bullshit. Got to change the engine harness. Got to change the fuse box. The wiring harness from the fuse box through the firewall. Change the dashboard harness. Everything has to be changed. Just waiting for parts, man. If I had the parts, I'd be ripping the front end apart right now. You gotta take the headlights out, bumper off. Uh, radiator support's coming out. I'm gonna lift the engine straight out the top. Do the timing chain clutch. Put the pedals, the reservoir. Whole bunch of stuff, but yeah. The car looks like shit and it's all dusty because they're building this house right here at the end of the day i just want to give you guys an update on the seats what i did on my day off today everyday struggle you gotta do everything every day a little bit of something counts all right that's how it's looking later these are 370z wheels 18s look beautiful i love them